Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks and to another open with me. And as you can see, I have received my Simply Crochet magazine. So let's have a little look and see what's inside. See that the envelope got a little dirty, so I'm hoping what's inside is in perfect condition. So there, straight away, there is a free gift and it is a crochet, simply crochet endangered animals calendar. And that's kind of cool. They're all obviously amigurumi. Now, do they have the patterns? Let's get to that at the end, shall we? And look at the magazine. So we've got the simply crochet. This is obviously the Christmas edition. Um, and there are some baubles inside that look like fruit. We've got, um, let's move it down a bit, melons. Um, so we've got fruity baubles, we've got a chunky card, uh, cardigan, a chunky scarf and a hat and some socks. I think that's possibly a cushion. Um, hook a Christmas companion and we've got a pullover and triangle trend. Well, I think you're meant to just slit your jeans and put in a patch. I don't think I'll be doing that, guys. Not really me. Not really my thing, but we've got 45 patterns that prove to be my thing. So let's have a look. Wow. He's kind of cool, isn't he? So, hi. I'm Fiji branded iguana. I love climbing trees. I'm not going to read that, guys, because he's made of wool or yarn. So he doesn't. But there you go. Um... And to tell you where he is. Maybe he's in this magazine. Let's, let's find out. He should be because he's simply crochet. So here we've got um, contents. And he doesn't appear in this page. But you never know. And we've got the scarf. That, that's actually looking more like a bag now. I'm not really sure what that is. The way it's tucked under the... It makes me look like I think it's a bag. But it looks like a cushion. So we'll see. We've got some amigurumis. We've got this pullover. We've got subscriber yarn. We've got a cushion up here, so that possibly is a bag. We've got a rug and possibly a throw, maybe. And this, um, yeah, thingy, for want of a better word. Okay, so let's get in it. And another blanket that I missed. And another pullover that I missed. So what we got, crochet animals as super cool homes accessories. So they've made them into plant pots and pots to put your pens in and stuff. Makeup, brushes and all sorts. It's kind of sweet. Um, download Simply Crochet today. Obviously you don't get the, t the tactile free gifts, but you might get others. I don't know, never done it that way. Right, so hooked. Ideas, inspiration, accessories, websites, events and stuff on the first day of Christmas. King Cole Advent Calendar. Um, yeah, that begins today. The calendar. I, I did see a little advert for that. It's called the Cal, C-A-L, and uh, And it's all King Cole bits and bobs. So you might want to check that out. Um... Magic skies. This is all stuff to, to buy, though. This isn't things that are in this magazine. But um, that's kind of nice. I like that. It's like a it's like kind of a bag. It's nice. I like that. Um, we've got those vibrant yarns. They just remind me of the latest Poundland yarn for some reason. Um, we've got inspiring books. Anything that is worth checking out. Let's have a look. Modern crochet style, crochet cuties, modern amigurumi for the home, and what's this one? Elemental macrame. Made macrame with my mum when I was young, but it was really just plant pot holders. So more little editorials um, and bits and bobs. Five fab finds. What's this? What have we found? Let's have a look. We've got 
There we go, get a bit closer. Stick your neck out. A luxury kit containing all you need to make a cute Amy the Giraffe. And we've got a storage stylist. Think outside the box with a hanging basket. These are cushions that are shaped like donuts. What is that? A wrap up warm, the stylish five color winter chevron ripple. That kind of looked like gold, like a bangle, the way that it was catching the light. It's on you, bit of a bit of a thingy. Um, sole stitches, the best thing about these slippers is they're only for all foot shapes. Well, unless you can get those rubberized grips, I wouldn't really wear them, a bit dangerous. So quick as you like, we've got um, a, a stitch that I'm actually, <laughs> I've made a hat out of this stitch. <laughs> and a blanket and, and a scarf, how unusual. There you go, isn't that funny? And um, we've got a bag, I don't like the handle though, I have to say, and just kind of, no. I don't like that at all actually. There's something about that that, that looks kind of, like I would have made it as a child. Do you know what I mean? I'm not really keen on that. And we've got a collar thing. So is this a cushion? <laughs> is it a cushion? Is it a bag? The way she's holding it, it's a cushion. Okay. So it's just the way she was holding it before in that small picture made me wonder if it was a bag. So these are kind of cute. But as I say, if you haven't got that grippy stuff at the bottom, they can be dangerous on shiny floors, which I do have, shiny floors. So there's the instructions for all of those things, all the same color. Meet our lookbooks. Mm, okay, so this is the love triangle. This is the pullover. I'm not really keen on the sleeves. However, the fact that they're up there um, isn't as bad as them being down here in Baggy, but you know, I'd rather they taper. But that's that's unusual, isn't it? Um, to make, be made out of triangles like that. Reminds me of um, um, Trivial Pursuit. That's what I'm trying to think of. King of the Crib. He's nice. I know that would be great for your like, grandchildren, wouldn't it? And um, we've got a really nice cushion. And at the back, it's done up with buttons, as you can see. I just sew mine shut. So this is the yarn for subscribing today at buysubscriptions.com. Um, interestingly called Happy. Happy yarn. Worth £84. It's a Serdai calendar yarn pack. So, all of the bits and pieces that are in this calendar, perhaps this is the yarn that enables you to make it. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll have a look. But that's the um, code, etc. if you want to do that. Okay, what else do we got? Carolyn's journal. We won't be reading that at the moment. That's a big fat needle, look at that. I've never tried knitting with a giant needle or with one giant needle. Makes kind of... I've seen uh, Kristen Armdoll do it something similar on her channel a long while ago she does a lot of that lacy stuff so this is the flare for fashion so if you want to turn your straight legs into flares with a bit of crochet pizzazz this is the um the thing for you just an advert just jade so this is the one that i missed earlier and as you can see it's row after row of these sort of stitches that I, I can't, can't really, I'm, I'm not keen on, basically. It's just too too much, row after row. It's it, what has always put me off of wearables, but obviously I wouldn't make my wearables like that. So this, no, this is nice though, checkmate. Classic checkable pattern is used to create just Bennett's design. That is nice, I do like that. Instead of being done with kind of gingham, where you get the different colours, it's done with different stitches, which is quite effective. I do like that one. 
and obviously there are different colors in it as well and more editorial well wave hello this is cool because it's got like the wave effect going through it up to five years so again though no, row after row not not something i'm keen on but each to their own so we've got hook to hook winter toy we challenge two designers to come up with fab design each using the same yarn which is your favorite penguin i'd say the penguin's mine i have to say and this is the um patterns for both should you want to make them I'm just going breezing past the patterns because I was asked to by, um, I think it was, um, not this magazine, but um, they did say, you know, the designers would be appreciate it if you didn't linger over the patterns. So um, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play the game. I will do that. So here we go, Fur and Away. This is made with furry yarn. Wow. That's nice. I like it, but I don't like the different colours. I know it's, you know, young, but I'm not. So I would probably do it all the same. But um, I've made lots and lots and lots of furry scarves. Most of them are knitted, I have to say. I find it easier to knit with fur than I do. Although, I'm, you know, I have crocheted with fur and I've done some tutorials for furry blankets. It's not that difficult, but knitting is easier, funny enough. Uh, spinning yarns. Nice little editorial about spinning. Uh, make your Christmas at Gathered. I've heard of that really. Maybe I'll check it out one day. Make a change in 2022. So... <clears throat> Are these just ornaments, decorations for the Christmas tree, as it appears over here? New Year life goals. So just make them and put them on your tree. Because here are all of the patterns to make your little satchel, books, a computer, eat more fruit, and veg. It's a leak. <laughs> Go to the gym. Okay, we'll move past those because this is all of the, the pattern for those. Hmm, a bit odd, but there you go. So this is Knit Your Own Christmas Angel over here. Order your copy today should you want to do it. That's how you go about it. So how much is, order, is knitting your own Christmas angel? Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous yarns, bit about that. Now this is Daisy Chain. That's what it's called. I'm um, just trying to get a bit of a close up on the the pattern. Okay, let's get the other page in. And it will show you them in the close up. That's quite nice actually. It sort of goes in stripes. Bear with me. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. And um, when I got there, it had stopped and it had no caller ID, so I have no idea it was. So there we are, that's quite nice. I like, I do like the look of that. Let's zoom in, see if we can get a better look at the pattern. There we go, so it's got this nice kind of, looks almost like the knitted moss stitch border. So it could possibly be moss stitch. And then we've got these rows of daisies and a couple of rows in between, possibly moss stitch. I like that, that's nice. Different. So there we got all the instructions for that one. And then we've got folksy footwork. So this is for the rug. And again, that's quite nice. I do like that. It's only a small rug, obviously, or a, you could put it on, on the top of your worktop to put things on to save it getting scratched. Why do the loops fall off my hook? Brush up on your techniques. So there's that. How to tighten my tension. And what else can I do using a different hook? What's a, what's a slippery yarn? What's a slippery yarn? Well, what's a slippery hook? 
So, <clears throat> I've got a few tutorials on my channel that um, do those kind of like technique -y things, but they haven't done one for a while, apart from keeping your edges straight. That's the only one that I've done recently. So we've got um, Show Us Your Own. There's a nice sausage dog in a blanket. And lots of bits and bobs that people have sent in. Glitter yarns. Bit of a review on some glitter yarns and the ones that we've got here. I'm going to have to move this to show you. It's that faint colour on a white background. Not good. But you'd be pleased to know, I have found my glasses. I fell down the back of the sideboard. So we've got a DK weight here. And that's Rico Designs Fashion Cotton Metallic. Uh, that works out at, let's move this down, 369 for a 50 gram ball. I don't think that's that cheap. So again, we've got, this is 11 pounds, wow. 250 grams so at least it's a bigger a bigger ball and that is paint box yarns recycled metallic ribbon and we've got rowan patina which um proves that you know rowan have not reduced their prices in any way shape or form because that is 13 pounds 60 for a 50 gram ball so that's um a little kind of extortionate and then we have Yarn and Colours, and it's £1.50 for a 20 gram ball of the Glamour yarn. What's this one? We've got Novita 7 Brothers Lapin Taker, and this is 100 grams at £7.90. Last but by no means least, the King Cold Glitz, the cheapest one. I bet it's the softest because it's really, really nice. I've used it, and it's £4.50. £3.49, sorry, um, for 100 grams and well worth the money. But um, as for the others, I cannot really um, comment I have not used them. But I certainly wouldn't even try using the Rowan because I'm not paying that for any yarn. In the next issue, we've got... Ooh, this kind of looks like the sort of cityscape, doesn't it? We've got a little back dress... Bright Motive Homewares, Zigzag Bag, Warm Winter Hats, Celebration Doll, Chunky Lace Wrap, Daisy Floor Cushion, Cute Animal Rattles, Extra 28 place Page Tunisian Pattern Book, My Teeth Are Not My Own Today, and you've got a hook there. Um, and that's on sale on the 30th of December. So we've got the USA uh, subscription offer, when you subscribe today, you can save 70% with this code. So there's all the details should you want to do it. Um, it will cost you $59.95 for 13 issues instead of $199.87. So, and then there's the back issues bit and the crochet essentials, how to do stitches, a um, bit on turning chains how to count stitches, how to check your tension. We've just been through that one, haven't we? Um, round or spirals. I prefer a tutorial personally, if you're going to do anything like that. And all the abbreviations and we've got the charts, which I always find helpful when they do include the charts, in case you want to use them for something completely different. I always find that's um, pretty good value. So that's, uh, that's a nice... Um, <laughs> I like, I like the Christmas lights in his beard. <laughs> my kind, of, my kind of thing that is. So let's get a look, see, at the Simply Crochet Endangered Animals Twenty Twenty Two calendar, and it comes make them all in Sirdar Happy Cotton if you subscribe and get your your bale of yarns. So we've got the initial page, which is. The one where you've got it at a glance, where you can see what uh, days of the week are going to be on um, a Saturday and a Sunday, etc. And oh, hello, let's not do that. So we have got a little iguana guy, um, all kinds of animals. We've got penguin, we've got butterfly. Oh, they're kind of cool. So, okay, 
So if we open it then and we get the red panda and it tells you bits about the red panda. Okay, so that's January's. So on the back, maybe the patterns are further on in the book. Yeah, I think they might be. So that's what we've got. We're going to have this cute red panda for January. And oh, we have a Polynesian tree snail for February. That's my birthday month. I share my birthday month with a Polynesian tree snail. Not everybody can say that. And we've got the duck billed platypus for March. He's kind of cute. What have we got for April? The butterfly. Pretty butterfly. That's the Kana blue butterfly. I guess I should be reading out what they actually are because it gives you on each thing the country of origin, the habitat and fun facts should you want to look at them. So we won't linger too, too much on it. I've got two pages. Wow. The, sea, the green sea turtle. Now I like that one. That is kind of cute. And that's May. Now in June, when my son Paul was born, we have the Fiji banded iguana. I like him. So, oh, hang on. I forgot to sort of have a look then. What was January? Mike has the red panda. Gemma would like that because she loves pandas. So that's my, my youngest son is Mike. Okay, so what we got for July is it's a mandrill, a mandrill, there we go. August is the blue-footed booby. <laughs> I'm so infantile, <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Baby Malayan taper is September. And if I've got... Yes, October is the blue-throated Macau. He's kind of cute, isn't he? Little fat so. Oh, that was not ripping, don't worry. It's just going on my gimbal. So the Panamanian golden frog is November. So let's see what Gary's birthday brings. A penguin. See, but a Humboldt penguin at that. Now, my eldest son, Paul, absolutely adores penguins. They're his favourite thing. So... Would have been fitting, but it wouldn't be in June, would it? So there we go. That's all the months. And now we've got all of the patterns for those. And it goes through like a whole booklet of patterns. And they're quite quite nice, big, bold patterns. So that's good. I like this pitch. Look at that. That must be our, our friendly booby. <laughs> I still can't believe it's called that. So, yeah. Um, let's uh, go to the end and see if there's anything else. Go through all the patterns. Now we get to the end. And that's, is this who's been involved in making these uh, patterns for us? There we go. Let's move this along a little bit and get them all in. So that's the team, I guess, of designers who gave their artwork. And here is a picture of all of those um lovely makes so that's, that's really cool actually isn't it i like that um yeah that is really cool i like that a lot so i'm definitely going to be putting that up although i do have a yarn room um calendar of from knitted knockers um i don't know if you remember i think it was from knitted knockers um so uh i've now got another calendar oh well i guess you can never have too many so thank you for watching. Tell me what you think of the Christmas edition of Simply Crochet with this um, free gift. Um, I don't make many amigurumis. I always look at them and wish I did. But I am, you know, up to now, I've not really made many. Um, I have made a couple, but um, only one of them really made it onto my channel. And that was just a donut. So um, one day, you never know, I might have a go. So there we are. What do you think? Let me know. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. 
stay safe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I always forget to say at the beginning. Bye for now then.